The film opens with George, an undercover government operative in pursuit of a dangerous individual. His team strategically surrounds the area. Upon entering a building, they encounter Joseph, employed as a janitor. George discloses his government affiliation and urges Joseph to accompany them. Realizing their identity, Joseph hurls his broom at them and makes a quick escape. The team corners him in his storage unit, prompting Joseph to utilize his unique abilities to leap and break through the roof. Pursuing agents trap him on the roof, successfully subduing him with a specialized taser. Joseph is injected with a serum that neutralizes his powers and he is taken to a clandestine facility. George then rendezvous with Captain Williams, the program's leader, who emphasizes the perilous nature of genetically enhanced individuals, citing their propensity for violence. George joined the program to combat such threats, but when he confronted Joseph, the latter evaded capture. Williams cautions George about the deceptive nature of these enhanced individuals, advising him to exercise caution. Additionally, Williams briefs George on an enhanced individual who has been targeting others of his kind, the perpetrator's identity shrouded in mystery. The following day, Danny is approached by Marco and his associates, striking the deal for an ID. However, they reconsider, demanding more money, to which Danny asserts his financial incapacity. In the ensuing events, Marco instructs his men to seize Danny. Witnessing the brutality, Anna becomes infuriated and employs her powers to incapacitate everyone present. Amidst the chaos, a gunshot intended for Anna inadvertently strikes Danny, inflicting fatal injuries. Subsequently, Anna contacts the police, grabs her passport, and makes a hasty escape. George's team intercepts the call, realizing the involvement of an enhanced individual. Utilizing a specialized watch capable of tracking signals emitted by enhanced people, they begin to trace Anna's movements. While desperately seeking supplies, Anna encounters a man who claims to be her help. Skeptical, she pushes him away with her powers, steals a truck, and attempts to evade pursuit. George, accompanied by Scott, follows her on the highway. Sensing the pursuit, Anna changes routes and ventures into a farm field. George directs his team to converge on her location, using a drone to monitor her. Suddenly, a burst of energy disrupts all electronic devices, including Anna's truck. As George's men encircle her, he commands Anna to exit the truck with her hands raised. Complying, Anna is subjected to a search by Scott, revealing her passport. Questioning her motives, George queries Anna about her intended trip to China and the alleged killing of Danny. Anna insists that she tried to aid Danny and denies responsibility for his death, but George remains unconvinced. His team proceeds to employ power surges on their watches, tasing Anna as part of their interrogation. Anna deploys a force field, pushing everyone away from her and manages to escape. Finding refuge in a small cabin, she believes she's evaded George, but he adeptly tracks her down. Ambushing him, Anna momentarily gains the upper hand, only for George to use a flash grenade to impair her vision and then tase her. Prepared to inject her with a serum, George is interrupted by another enhanced individual named David. David transports both Anna and George to a secure location, where he restrains George. Recognizing David as the person who facilitated the escape of an enhanced individual from the facility, Anna and David engage in a conversation. David awakens George and demands information about the captured enhanced individuals. When George refuses to divulge the details, David contemplates killing him. However, Anna intervenes and requests time. David grants them until the morning and departs. Anna questions George about the reason behind his pursuit. George asserts that she is a dangerous killer, referencing her file which indicates her involvement in numerous killings, including her parents and therapist. Anna counters, revealing that she was taken from her parents at the age of four and subjected to experiments by a government organization called CISA, trained to be a killer. Anna explains that refusal to comply resulted in severe punishment or even death. She discloses that her therapist's demise occurred because she referred to Anna by her name instead of the assigned number, a humanizing act that led to her execution in front of Anna. While George is skeptical of the story, he acknowledges that the program's full truth has not been disclosed to him. As morning arrives, George's team intensifies their efforts to locate Anna, tracking her signal. Suddenly, their watches start beeping, indicating the presence of an alpha-type individual in the vicinity. Scott, skeptical about the existence of alpha-humans, dismisses it as a glitch. However, he is confronted by David, challenging Scott's assumptions. The team attempts to confront David, but he effortlessly dispatches them. Scott, resorting to a surprise attack, tases David and injects him with a power-disabling serum. <laughs> to everyone's surprise, the serum proves ineffective and David eliminates everyone except Scott. Meanwhile, George pleads with Anna to release him, emphasizing the danger posed by David, who may be responsible for killing other enhanced individuals. Anna remains unconvinced and Joseph, now possessing a red blinking device, attacks Anna. 
In the midst of their struggle, George manages to free himself and inject Joseph with the serum. George is astonished to see Joseph as he was led to believe that Joseph would be eliminated after capture. Anna clarifies that the red blinking device is a reprogramming tool used to control the Enhanced without their consent. She exposes the government's use of enhanced individuals as weapons and asserts that everything George has been told is a lie. Witnessing Joseph's situation, George believes Anna's account and decides to assist her in escaping. The duo makes their way to the main road, where they encounter the individual who previously tried to help Anna. He instructs them to get in his car and drives them to his house. Introducing himself as Eli, he reveals that he used to work for Sissa as an analyst, unaware of the organization's human experimentation. Eli only discovered the truth when David attacked the facility, and he was saved by an enhanced individual named Lou, who now lives with him. Eli discloses the company's experimentations on creating a super serum, breaking into another dimension with infinite energy and no entropy. To harness this energy, they required the source, which happened to be David. Eli reveals that David is not a human, but an interdimensional being comprised of pure energy. In his dimension without entropy, David doesn't age or die. However, when the company absorbed some of his energy and injected it into humans, David lost the ability to return to his dimension. Desperate to go back, he tracked down enhanced human beings reclaiming their power, a process that resulted in their death. Once he accumulates enough power, David can open the door to his dimension and return. Eli has been attempting to find a way to stop David, but his strength grows with each enhanced person he kills. The only way to halt him is to weaken him so that he cannot regenerate, making it possible to kill him. George resolves to return to headquarters and warn everyone, believing their combined weapons can stop David. However, before George can leave, David arrives at the door. Eli instructs them to flee through the back door, staying behind with Lou to confront David. Despite their efforts to hold him down, David's overwhelming power leads to the demise of Eli and Lou. David catches up with George and Anna as they attempt to escape by car. He breaks the car door, throws Anna aside, and drops a container on her. David begins absorbing his powers back, but George intervenes, proposing to take him to the place where all the captured enhanced individuals are held, on the condition that Anna is spared. David agrees, and they drive to headquarters. Meanwhile, Anna, trapped under the container, summons all her power to free herself and starts making her way toward the headquarters. As they head to HQ, George questions David about his goal. David explains that this dimension is killing him, expressing disdain for every particle in this universe. He pities humans for living in what he considers a hellhole. Seizing a moment of distraction during David's discourse, George pushes him out of the car and rushes to HQ to warn everyone. However, guards at the facility arrest him upon arrival. Taken to Captain Williams and Scott, George recounts the threat posed by David, but Williams dismisses his claims. Williams reveals reprogrammed enhanced individuals and plans to confront David using them. Despite George's warnings about the futility of this approach, Williams ignores him and locks him in prison. Suddenly, an alarm sounds and security footage shows David overpowering guards. Williams deploys the enhanced against David, but David easily defeats them, reclaiming his power. He reaches Williams and swiftly kills him. Turning to George, David warns that Anna will suffer because of him. Anna, unexpectedly appearing behind David, challenges him to try. While George breaks out of prison, David intensifies his assault on Anna. As David prepares to finish her off, George activates the emergency button, releasing a gas that disables all powers. Weakened without his abilities, David becomes vulnerable. Anna seizes the opportunity, beating him down and ultimately picking up a gun. David pleads for his life and Anna hesitates, prompting George to take the gun and shoot David. Four months later, George and Anna meet again. Anna has embraced a simple life as a mechanic. George hands her a list of enhanced humans, suggesting that she can help them lead normal lives too. The movie concludes with another enhanced individual leading a normal life, answering a doorbell to find David, claiming he has something that belongs to him. The screen goes black, leaving the audience with a suspenseful ending. If you enjoyed this recap, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you won't miss any future videos.